Welcome to a Management Plus training webinar. My name is Kevin Sloan. I'm a certified electronic health record specialist and certified ophthalmic technician. Management Plus is an industry leader in EHR and we want to provide you with the documentation tools and the skills to use these tools proficiently. Today's training webinar is titled Additional Refractive. Let's get started. The Additional Refractive form can be accessed from the workup form in the lower right hand corner which we will scroll to the right and then down there is a button here labeled additional refractive this button is chosen in the event that the patient has more than one pair of glasses you want to document or if you have more than one manifest refraction or more than one AR that you want to document or more than one set of K readings that you want to document. Clicking this button will load on and navigate you to the additional refractive form. Starting at the top you can see that we have two sets of auto refraction controls. Below this are three sets of controls for wearing glasses. Each one of these has script buttons that will move the values to the manifest control or to the final as you can see here. The bottom are two sets of K readings. You may want to do one set with an auto keratometer, the next set with a manual or just repeat those. Maybe one technician will do it first and then a the second technician will do it again. As you can see here in the wearing RX1, if values were documented on the workup form, they are automatically displayed here since this is just a copy of those controls so that you can do all of your documentation here. If this form was added on before this was done, you could simply add it here and they would also show up in retrospect on the workup form as well. To the right, is your manifest refraction set of controls. This is your primary. Again, you could add this form here, document your values within these controls, and they would display also on the workup form just as well. Below that are three more sections for documentation of different refraction. Maybe a second manifest, cycloplegic, and then retinoscopy. You can do those in any order that you need to. And then again below, is the final RX session just like it is on the workup form print button RX selector and the exact same controls here. You will never run out of spaces to document the refractive data that you need. We have you fully covered with this additional refractive form. This completes this training webinar. Thank you.